Hey everyone, welcome into the Flippin' Hippos YouTube channel. Thanks for joining me today. My name is Star. If you're new here or you have not already, please consider subscribing to the channel. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up as you're listening today. Today is Monday, June 12th. And because it's a Monday, that means it's time for what sold on eBay. Just like every week, we're going to start with the plush sales and then move into the highlights from the week. Our highlights are not always bolos. Sometimes they are, but a lot of our highlights are tried and true bread and butter brands that sell consistently for us that I share with you. I do only pick out a handful of our sales from the week just to give you an idea of what is selling. I don't show you every single sale. One, we'd be here all day. And two, not every sale is exciting or really needs to be talked about. With the exception of our plush sales, I do show you each and every one of those that sell every week. Let's start with this red M&M plush. M&Ms are one of those plushies that, for the most part, are going to be oversaturated. They're going to comp pretty low unless you find something super special, vintage, rare, unique. And I have found out that the red M&Ms always comp lower than the other ones. I don't know what it is, but the red ones are pretty much poop. I still have some from when I used to get them for 50 cents at Goodwill. And sometimes they come to me in wholesale lots and I'll still list them. This guy, I took a best offer of $10.99 on and he shipped first class. Next up, we have a Build-A-Bear Workshop Teddy Bear. This one has a cute smile on his face. And he did sell for $17.99, and he shipped first class. His cost was right around the dollar. We have a Wild Republic Ruby Throated Hummingbird. This guy was about 50 cents out of a wholesale lot. He shipped first class and did sell for $15.99. Super cute. Wild Republic makes a lot of really great, realistic looking animals. This is a brand that I really like to source. Next up, we have a Spend Master Paw Patrol Zuma Puppy Dog. So this is Zuma from the Paw Patrol show. My kids are all grown, so I'm not quite aware of the popularity of Paw Patrol as a show. But I can tell you that the Paw Patrol plush for us have always done well for years. There are certain uh, characters from Paw Patrol and from like the movie that are more rare. There's like a superhero one that go for a lot of money. And then, of course, you know, Chase, the police dog and Marshall, is that his name? The fire dog. The more common ones are going to be more your bread and butter sales. But they sell pretty quickly for plush. They have a pretty good selfie rate. Uh, Pop Patrol are just popular, I guess. If anybody has young kids, um, can you let me know if it's like still popular? Is it still playing on Nick Jr.? Kids still into this? Next up, we have this little Valentine's teddy bear. You guys, I got him for free. He was thrown in um, as a bonus when I bought a wholesale lot from another reseller. And so I just went ahead and listed all the plushies I got for free because it's free money and everybody likes free money. I took a best draw for a 10 on this guy. He doesn't have any tags. He's generic. But he's super duper cute. Look at him. Look at his face. All right, so those were the plush that sold last week. We sold five plushies. And then we're going to get into some of the highlights from the clothing sales here. We sold these new tag silver high note skinny jeans on the best offer of 36. This is a pair of jeans I probably would have wanted more of 40 or 45 for. Uh, but they were on sale and then I did take a best offer. They have been sitting for a while. I would like to have sat on them for a little bit longer and maybe got more like the 40 to 45 dollars. But when sales are slow, I'm more willing to take offers a little bit lower than I normally would. And these went internationally, actually. 
So we just had to ship them to Kentucky because we take part in the international shipping program on eBay. And so we got to ship them just regular priority mail for $7.20, which is less than the $7.60 for the priority flat rate cardboard envelope we typically use for jeans. So that was a win. Um, again, you know, if things weren't weird and wonky right now and sales were where they should be, I probably would have sat on these a little bit longer. Um, that's why we run sales and do offers because I don't have to participate in that race to the bottom. I don't actually have to lower the prices of our items. I can keep them where they're at and then just judge if I'm going to take certain offers or run 30% off versus 25% off or whatever based on how much we need to do a big push to get more sales coming in. We sold actually three pairs of Lane Bryant jeans over the weekend, two on eBay, one on Poshmark. If you're not familiar with Lane Bryant, it's a solid bread and butter plus size brand. It has a loyal following, a loyal customer base. Women who wear plus size jeans like Lane Bryant, they are comfortable, they fit good, and they will shop for these online because they're harder to find out in the um, retail stores now. So we sold this pair of Capri Lane Bryant's for $19.87 on a best offer. And this pair of Capri's for $19.87 on a best offer. So these have the tighter tummy technology. And they are size 14. And the other pair was a size 20. And we just took the best offers of $19.87 on both pairs. They did ship in the flat rate envelope. One of them shipped in the flat rate envelope. One of them went straight priority. Got to keep all these different shipping um, methods in my mind now. But anytime we can ship anything for less, we're going to do it. Because every single penny that you can save, you should be saving. It's part of your bottom line. And maximizing your profits as a small business owner. Democracy, you guys. This is one of my favorite brands of jeans to sell. They have the Ab Technology jeans, and they have a line called Ab Solution. They are slimming, shaping jeans, which are always good to look for in women's jeans. This pair sold for a best offer of $25 and shipped in a cardboard flat rate mailer. Gloria Vanderbilt jeans, size 20W. High rise light wash denim pants. These I took a best offer of $17.99. And I was able to cram them into a flat rate envelope. Gloria Vanderbilt can be a good bread and butter brand. I just have like a general rule about this brand. I'll only get size 14 and larger. I typically will only source them if I find them for two bucks or less. And Sometimes I'll get smaller than size 14 if there's something unique. Like I've had Gloria Vanderbilt jeans that are colorful or have some kind of print or stripes. Those I'll get too. And last but not least this week is these Riders bootcut jeans. So Riders is by Lee. And they are another brand that has just a really loyal customer base and folks that come online to shop for this all the time. The thing with jeans, especially with women, is once you find a pair or a brand and a style that is comfortable, that's all you ever want to wear. And women will go online to find the exact same brand, style, and size that they know fits them well, makes them feel good about themselves, is comfortable, and makes them feel um, pretty. You look good in them. You want to buy more of them. It, the same thing with bras, too. Well, it's been brought up on this channel, but um, like, for instance, I have four pairs of jeans and they're all the same brand style, size and style. And when they start to wear out or I have to get rid of them, you know, I will try to find them again. So don't turn your nose up at some of these bread and butter brands because they may not sell for as much as the luxury and the bolo brands, but they sell consistently and some of them have a pretty good sell-through rate and will sell quickly and give you a fast return on your investment 
especially if you live in an area where you can get your items on sale at thrift stores for two bucks or less. If your cost of goods is low, these are a solid um, bread and butter brand, as well as like the plus size Gloria Vanderbilt's, the Lane Bryant's. So don't overlook those. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns about anything you saw in this video today or reselling in general, let me know. I do answer every one of the comments. If you haven't joined our Facebook group, you should. It's called Flippin' Hippos Reseller Pod. It's a positive, wonderful place to be full of really good information and great resellers from the community. Guys, there's a link for that down in the box. Other than that, go be productive. Go make some money. And as always, thank you so, so much for watching. Y'all are the best. Bye.